I do a lot of screen shares in my tutorials and sometimes I like to make it look like the screen share is actually in a device like a laptop or a cell phone. Not only do I think this looks cool, but in the cases that I use this technique, I think it really does emphasize what I'm trying to show my audience. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I do this using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. Let's get started. First, head on over to canva.com and then click on create a design. We wanna create a canvas that's the same size as our video, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna click on that. And the first thing I wanna do is add a background that our laptop image is going to be on top of. So for now, I'm just gonna pick this uh, bright image right here and that's gonna fill the background. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is add the laptop mockup. So we're gonna search that. And there's a bunch of different laptops here for both the pro version or the free version of Canva. I'm just gonna grab this first one right here. And what I like to do is I like to have the laptop fill as much of the screen as possible because I still want the screen share to be visible when people are watching the video. So I try to have it as big as I can. And then that's it, just center it. And then when you're finished, click on download to download the image. Now we're gonna jump into our video editor. For me, that is Final Cut Pro. So let me drop in some screen share footage that I've already recorded. And I'm also going to drop in the image that we just put into Canva. So the first thing I'm gonna drop into the timeline is the screen share footage. And then I'm going to put the laptop image underneath that so that the screen share is on top. And then basically this is just picture in picture. So this will vary depending on the program that you're using. For me, I just have to resize it so that it fits into the monitor part of the laptop like this. And that's pretty much it. The loom video. Now this gets a little tricky when we're doing a phone mockup and I'll show you why. So let's jump back into Canva and I'm just going to duplicate this page right here and delete the laptop. And I'm going to search for iPhone mockup. There's a bunch of phones here. I'm just gonna pick the first one and again, enlarge it to be as wide as it can and then center it. Now I'm gonna download this image and show you what it looks like in Final Cut. You'll see that it's not going to look as good as the laptop one. I'll just show you what I mean. So let me jump into Final Cut and then I'm going to drag in the image that we just created and then also some sample phone recording stuff. I'll just drop that right here. Let me mute this so you guys don't hear that. So see, this is just a recording that I took on my phone and then I'm going to drag the Canva image underneath. And even when I resize it, you'll see that because of the curved edges and the camera part right here, it doesn't exactly fit. And if we go back to Canva, there's no way to make this a transparent image. Even if I were to use something like this, uh, you're, you're still gonna see this part underneath because that's not quite transparent. You can do images in Canva that have transparent backgrounds, but in terms of making the center of an image transparent, you can't do that in Canva. But don't worry, I do have a workaround. For this, we're actually going to open up Keynote. And when you're in Keynote, we're going to create a new document. You wanna make sure that you've got wide selected. I'm just gonna choose basic white and I'm going to delete all the elements that are on there by default. Now, the next step in the format window here, you wanna make sure that the background is set to no fill, which means that this presentation is transparent. And then you wanna drop in the Canva image that we created that has the cell phone. And to make the center of the phone transparent, we're gonna use the alpha tool, which I have in the toolbar up here, but if you don't have that, you can go up to format in the menu and then scroll down to image and then instant alpha. You'll see here, it'll say click a color to make it transparent. We're gonna click the center of the phone and then we're gonna hit done. And now we have a phone that has a transparent center. Now we can export this as its own image. So head on over to export and we're gonna select images. And we wanna make sure that we're selecting this as a PNG. And we wanna make sure this box is checked where it says export with transparent backgrounds to make sure that the center is still transparent. And go ahead and save it wherever you want. 
Now, back in our video editor, I'm going to drag in the new keynote image that we created. And you can see even here that this looks different from the Canva image that we created. Now, if we drag this image the same way that we did with the other one, putting it underneath the screen share, the screen share is gonna be on top. So that means that even when we resize the screen share, it, we're having the same problem where we don't have the curved edges. And that's why we wanna put the phone on top of the screen share so that the screen share is behind it. And that way, when you resize the screen share, no matter how wide or narrow it is, it'll still have that curved edge because it's behind the phone image. So let me just tighten this up a little bit like this. And you'll see that when we play it, it looks perfect. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this for longer screen shares. There are just times where the screen share does need to take the full screen. It needs to be as wide as possible. And other times where you actually have to zoom in into a specific area that you're showing on your screen. So if the screen share is going to be a little bit on the longer side, I don't use this technique, but if it's just a quick thing that I'm gonna show on a cell phone or a laptop or desktop, then I do use this. Also, if you haven't tried Canva yet, what are you waiting for? Canva is definitely one of my favorite tools as a YouTube creator. So check out the link in the description if you want to get started and head on over to these Canva tutorials next.